a friend of mine messaged me on Twitter today to tell me that she had a friend of her own who was a cop, and a good cop, who does as good work as he could possibly do in bad situations. And I completely believe that that is the case. I believe that there are good cops out there just like that. My primary concern right now is the fact that authority structures systemically treat people of color really crappily everywhere in the United States, and I don't want that to happen. But I am going to respond to this concern, and I'm once again going to try to mash up a couple ideas. Let's see if I can do this. Happy Saturday, Paul Talkers. I think of myself as an intersectional feminist ally. This has not accidentally turned into a different video. Just give me a second again. As someone who wants to be a good ally, I know that when I see something like the yes all women hashtag trending on Twitter, that that is not an attack on me, but rather a call to attention of, of people who are being marginalized in a particular circumstance. So if I'm gonna be an ally to women, I'm gonna boost the signal of that message and not worry that, I don't know, because I am a straight guy that some of the splash is gonna get on me. I'm not concerned about that because as a straight guy, the whole point of my allyship is that I am being an ally from a privileged position. If I'm already this safe, then I might as well use my safety to help out the people who need it. News stories about racism-inspired violence against people of color come out all the time. Ferguson is the latest big one, but while Ferguson is happening, other racist acts of violence against other people are happening around the United States. It's not just Ferguson. It's a bunch of different authority structures where the people in the positions of power are not being pulled from the pool of the marginalized people in those communities. So it's happening everywhere, not just Ferguson, but Ferguson, because of its nature, is a rallying point. We can get around that and say, look, this is exemplary of the bad stuff that's happening. I am not a dark-skinned person. I have a huge privilege in this situation. I can use my allyship now to raise the voices of the people of color and their needs and not be concerned about the fact that they are speaking out against people who are light-skinned, acting against dark-skinned people just because I'm light-skinned. I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about the people who are being hurt in the situation. That is what I think allyship should be. It should be using your position of whatever privilege you have, and some people have more than others, to help out the people who are not in your privileged position. That's what allyship should be about, in my opinion. That's what I think. So here's where I draw the analogy. There was this great article published in, I think, theroot.com, called something like, if there are good cops, where are they now? Something like that. I'll link to the actual article in the doobly-doo so you can see what it is and check it out for yourself. If you are a cop, and you are seeing what's going down in places like Ferguson, Missouri, you might get told that you are a pig and that people can't trust you just because you're a cop, even while you are doing an actually good job actually protecting your community. It is not fair that as a good cop, you get a splash of the distaste, disgust, and venom that we feel toward the bad cops. It is not fair. But you know what I think that a good cop should be doing? Is getting just as angry as those of us who are not cops. I think every good cop should be making their voice heard as, hey, the stuff that the people did in Ferguson, Missouri is bullshit. I will not stand for it. That does not happen in my police department. F those bad police officers in Ferguson. They should be protecting people instead of being racists. That's what I would expect a good cop to say. Is that a dangerous thing for cops to do? Probably, probably is. Speaking out against your peers in that scenario is in fact terribly dangerous. It is very, very dangerous. I am not convinced that it is more dangerous than walking down the street as a black person in an area with bad cops. I think if you wanna be a police officer, you need to stand for the law better than the rest of us, including against other police officers who are not about that. Am I naive? But you know what I haven't read an article about? I have not read an article about members of the Ferguson police force who spoke up against what was happening, who resigned in disgust at what was happening, who spoke up on the side of the victim in what was happening. I'm not seeing any of that. But on Twitter and on Instagram and on Facebook, on the internet in general, I'm seeing lots of military people saying that what happened in Ferguson is bullshit and shouldn't happen. I can't remember seeing any police officers up until, and even kind of after Ron Johnson saying, hey, what those other police officers did in Ferguson, Missouri was not right. Where, where is that happening? Please, please link me to examples of other cops around the nation saying that what happened in Ferguson is unacceptable and horrible. Please reassure me that there are good cops who are not afraid to speak up about that. And if there are good cops who are in an even more complex scenario than I can imagine,
whose families and personal lives are at stake, and for that reason they have to keep quiet, thank you for being a good cop. But you are not my primary concern right now. My primary concern are the people who are being hurt by the bad cops. And I hope that you understand, ally to ally, that that's got to be my position. I hope I can edit this ramble down to something that makes sense. If you support or agree with what I said, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe below. If you'd like to share my rants with other people, please do retweet, reblog, and share this video. I would really appreciate that. That would be great. Was my analogy okay? I didn't mean to offend either good cops or marginalized people or allies to marginalized people. I didn't want to offend any of the three, but I thought that the mashed up comparison, I mean, it seemed to make sense in my head. Hopefully I'm not doing things out of scale disrespectfully. Call me out if I am, please do. But in general, just leave me your comments, questions, and suggestions below. If nothing else, tell me something that matters to you because I want to know what matters to you. And as always, thanks for watching.